Hey, what up, America? This is your boy, Bouchard Glover. Today is Friday, March 9th, 2018. Now, I decided just to, um, I'm starting to use this hashtag, which is hashtag my two cents, and basically a quick snippet, a quick video, you know, not too long, you know, where you got to get serious to listen to, something real quick to just to uh, spark a thought or two. Now, today's uh, hashtag, uh, my two cents, is uh, Stacy Dash. She's actually running for... Uh, the 44th District Congressional seat, which includes the cities of Compton, Watts, North Long Beach, and San Pedro. Now, this, these particular cities have been Democratic for a very long time, and for a Republican um, to actually try to make a push, it's, it's a sign and an indicator of this gentrification uh, thing that uh, we, we're seeing here in the Southern California area. Now, if you don't know, Stacey Dash, the clueless star, Stacey Dash, is running for a uh, Republican congressional seat. Um, in the 44th district, and uh, she's a, a known bed wench. So a bed wench is a, a, a black female that sleeps exclusively with uh, Caucasian men and basically echo the sediments. Basically, they're being used as a pawn to push their agenda and or narrative. So we have to be very careful to, to and be serious about midterm elections. And for the first time uh, in, in my adult life, that midterm elections here in Southern California is going to be off the chains because uh, this think about the debates. You got Stacey Dash, you got Asia Brown. That's right, Asia Brown, the current mayor, USC alum, the current mayor of Compton is actually running for the Democratic uh, side and she's looking to unseat the current uh, Congress Congresswoman, Nanette Diaz Berrigan. That's who has the seat right now, and Asia Brown is basically stepping up. So I'm thinking it's going to be a two uh, person race, and that's between Asia Brown and the clueless star. Uh, AKA the bed wench, which is Stacey Dash. Now, um, this will probably be the last time that I call her a bed wench uh, because, you know, we want to be legitimate and we want to, you know, be a part of the interview process and we don't want to, uh, you know, to be uh, biased or anything like that. But as a political commentator and as a political strategist, I know what I shout the doubt. If either of the two hired a better Black Americans team, uh, on their side, they would actually, we can actually get them a vi victory from a strategic and a political uh, strategist perspective, you know, but we are organizing ourselves, you know, as nonpartisans, and we'll get to that and when we roll out this no party preference campaign. But I just wanted to add my two cents and just get excited because we don't get excited for midterm elections and this November is going to be a, a nice buildup. And, and I want to see how the debates and things go when you have, you know, uh, Stacey Dash and Asia Brown running for Congress seats, which lets you know the climate of where we are. And they're both women and they're both women of color. So, you know, all people are created equal. So bump the